Hello, this is one of our new series called Vorses. This is going to be Solegna vs. Arg Zero in Doki Doki Literature Club. We had some technical issues in the first hour, so we're going to be following Arg Zero for that time. And I hope you enjoy. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is sorry, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, that kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better running away anyway. However, I just sighed and eyed her in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but, but that's only because I decided to stop and wait <clears throat> for you. Uh, I just find it funny because like, I chose a name that means to walk. And... I am walking, and the person catches up to me. You could create your name? Yeah. I didn't give me that option again. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're permanently who you are. I guess so. <laughs> I guess that's how it is for me too now. I am permanently the literal Japanese word to walk. <laughs> yep. I didn't change my name. Hmm. Eh, you say that like you're thinking about annoying me. That's a mean, Sorlagna. Mm -hmm. But if people are staring at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But didn't you wait for me after all? I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sorori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sir Legna, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I already told you I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. Wow, what a downer character. <laughs> you told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? Like, eh, I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible I did in one of our many conversations, so I dismissively go along with whatever she goes on about. Sorry likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content like, to gain by on the average while spending my free times on games and anime. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Well then. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why did I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I really need to look up what the word means. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. The school day is ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I packed up my things, I stare blankly at a wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Of course he starts with the anime club. <laughs> okay. Sorry? Sorry must have come into the classroom where I was facing out. I look and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you sitting here just facing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. 
You know what? Well, you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Wow. Really, what a downer character. Like, the MC is just, like, shooting her down, like, every time. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna not do that. Sorry. It's, like, passive-aggressive. <laughs> Meanie. I mean, it's also kind of weird that she just kind of expects him to do it, but I mean, maybe they just kind of know each other that way. Sorry is the vice president of the literature club. Oh, is this like, is that, is that a word though? That is a word though. Okay. I'm just gonna accept that and move on. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. Yasuki made cupcakes and everything! <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori's really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning she's planned it all out. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? I, mean, I guess I'm kind of glad I chose the name to walk because it literally fits this character she's perfectly. Crazy. She's just kind of like, eh, I'll go with the flow. Yes, let's go! And thus, today makes the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Sold my soul for a pan- Wait, no. Cup- Cupcake. I can't- I almost said pancake. What am I doing? <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori across the schools, up the stairwells, to a section of the school I rarely visited, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. <sighs> I glanced around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sir always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Like that. Way to kill the atmosphere. I guess he's not the only downer character. <laughs> ah, so Legna, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All wards escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute Girls. And now the main character has motivation. Okay. What are you looking at? If you want something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki? Hmm. The with the sour attitude, whose name apparently is Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small frame makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just annoy her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns back towards the other girl. Anyways, that's Natsuki, full of energy. Hmm. Natsuki. Natsu. Summer. Ki. Energy. Summer. Energy. No wonder she's full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Yuri's name is probably a little bit more complicated. I'm not really sure what it's referring to here. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. So, and it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? One thing, you, anyone who watched my uh, sample, uh, I've done live streams for the first two hours of this game. Um, and one thing I noticed when I was doing the live stream was this is an N, and it looks like a bow tie is an N. I know it's not an N, but it looks like it in my mind. That's right! It's great to see you again, Sir Ragna. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk. Monica is probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Wow, take that one out of the cliche book, why don't you? Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, 
completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come, sit down, Sir Lagno. We made room at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. I gotta say, these eyes are very well done. Like, they're very well drawn. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. The story mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sori. Suki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Wow! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray, revealing a dozen white furry cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. <clears throat> the whiskers were drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Oh, that's adorable. Huh. Okay. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. So he grabs one for us, then Monica and I follow. It's delicious. So he talks with a mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her taking sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this from somewhere? Made them for you or anything? I thought you technically did, so I always said. Well, maybe... Wow, way to ruin the mood, dude. Just kind of revealed to her that someone revealed to you what was going to happen. 